Hey there, I'm Marco from Unique Design, and today I want to show you how to create a black hoodie mockup in Photoshop. Don't forget that you can follow along the written version of this tutorial on Invato Tats Plus. If you would like to skip through this tutorial and get the black hoodie mockup right away, let me show you the Invato elements. Here you can get unlimited downloads of design assets and templates, and you can cancel your subscription anytime. With this black hoodie mockup, you simply place your design into a smart object, you click Save, and design will be automatically placed over a hoodie. Everything remains layered, so you have full control over the look of the mockup. You can change the colors, and you can even adjust the highlights and shadows. Now, before we get started, I just want to remind you to subscribe to Invado Touch Plus for more videos like this. First, we need to download the Black Hoodie 3D model. I'm going to use this Man's Hoodie Black 3D model. You can find the link in the description. Now, click on the View 360 render. And click and drag to adjust the angle as you like. Once you find the perfect angle, set the download as the PSD and choose download this angle. I'm going to use this angle and this one. After you have downloaded all the PSD files, go to File, Open, select the black hoodie mockup in front perspective and choose Open. Then hide the shadows layer. Now select the subject layer. Set the foreground color to FF40. Choose the rectangle tool and draw the shape in size that covers the front of the hoodie. Press Ctrl T on your keyboard to transform this layer and set the width and height to 125%. Now right-click on this layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Then press Ctrl T again and this time set the width and height to 85%. Press Ctrl Alt G on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Now press Ctrl T to bring up the Transform options, right-click anywhere inside this box and choose Warp. Then, warp the layer according to the hoodie. You can use the guides if you like. Double click on this layer thumbnail, and here in the newly opened window, hide the rectangle 1 layer. Go to File, Place Embedded, and select the design from the link. Then, transform and position the design. Go to File, Save to save the changes, and close this file. Change the blending mode of this layer to lighten, Name it Design and mark it with yellow color. Now we need to displace the design over the hoodie to make it look more realistic. I'll hide the guides and go to Image, Duplicate to duplicate the file. Here hide the design layer, show the depth folder, select the main folder and press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and D on your keyboard to make a screenshot. Go to Filter, Blur, Yesian Blur, and set the radius to 5 pixels. Then go to Image, Mode, and set the mode to 8 bits channel. And go to File, Save As, and save this file as a PSD file with the Displays Name extension. Close this file. And now go to Filter, Distort, Displace, set the horizontal and vertical scales to 25, use other settings as default, and here select the Displace PSD file that we have just saved. Now go to Layer, Layer Mask to add the layer mask that reveals the whole layer, then set the foreground color to black, choose the brush tool, pick a salt brush, and brush over the hoodie ribbons so the design doesn't cover them.
click on the link icon between layer thumbnail and layer mask to unlink them. Select the layer thumbnail and press Ctrl T to bring up the transform options. Right click inside the transform box and choose warp. Now adjust the warp if needed. Now we are going to create the black hoodie mockup in the side perspective. Go to File, Open, select the side perspective PSD file and choose Open. Then hide the shadows layer. The process is the same, so again we need to create the rectangle layer, transform it, convert a smart object and position it. And this time we need to adjust the warp differently to match the side perspective. Again I'm going to use guides to be more precise. Make sure to lock them so you don't accidentally move them. Now we are going to place the design into a smart object in the same way that we did for the front perspective. Change the blending mode of this layer to lighten, name it design, and set the layer color to yellow. Press Ctrl T on your keyboard, right click inside this box and choose warp. Adjust the warp so the design matches the hoodie. Now we need to displace the design of our hoodie, so we'll use the same method we used previously. Go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All to add the Layer Mask, set the foreground color to black, choose the brush tool, pick a salt brush and brush over the ribbons of the hoodie. Now unlink the Layer Thumbnail and Mask, select the Layer Thumbnail, Press Ctrl T to bring up the transform options, right click anywhere inside the transform box and choose warp. Now adjust the warp if needed. And here are our final results. I really hope you understood everything. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Marco and thank you for watching.